Hello, thank you for taking the time to learn about how to use Club Runner. In this video, we will be going over how to use the Email Message Center to compose and send out emails to your club, including any attachments or documents. You can use this to advertise or send out reminders for things like events or club meetings. Now let's go ahead and get started. To access the email services within Club Runner, you are first going to need to log in to your website's member area. Once you've been able to log in, click on the Communication tab in the top navigation menu. From here, you can click on Email Services just below it to access the Email Message Center. Alternatively, on your Members dashboard, you can click on the Email Services underneath the My Club Runner section as well. Here, on the Club Communication page, we can access several different email tools. For example, we can see a history of past emails that we have sent out, and a list of pending emails as well. On the left-hand side of the page, you will see a few additional tools available. However, for now we will focus on composing a basic email. Before we continue, it is important to note, however, that the Email Message Center does not act as an inbox. You will still need to log in and access your own email account to read any emails that you may have received. Now to begin creating our email, click on the Compose New Message button in the top right corner. This will bring us to the Create Email page where we can start composing our new message. The first thing that we need to do when composing our email is select who the email will be going to. So, underneath the Step 1 heading, use the checkboxes to select the recipients of your email. Clicking on the plus icon next to each category will expand it and allow you to be more specific about who you are trying to contact. In this case, we can choose between active, corporate, or honorary members. If you want to be even more specific, we can click on the expand link next to each membership type to list the individual members in these categories. Just like before, click on the individual checkboxes to select a member as a recipient. If you are unable to select a member's checkbox, this is because they do not have an email address associated with their member profile. Alternatively, this member may have their privacy settings in their profile set to not receive any emails. When you're finished selecting members to email, click on the Done button. Now that we've gone ahead and selected the recipients of our email, we can go ahead and start composing the email message. First, let's enter our email subject line. This will be the title of your email, and the first thing your recipients will see when receiving their email. For this example, we'll be sending out a reminder about an upcoming club meeting. Just below your email subject line, you'll find a couple different options titled Templates and Merge Fields. An email template is a pre-written email that makes it easier to send out messages that are similar and need to be sent out on a regular basis. Please review our How Do I Create an Email Template video for more information. For now, we'll be continuing on by creating a custom email message. Mail merge fields will allow you to personalize your email to each and every single one of your recipients. By default, your email will be generated with some greetings to the recipient, including their first name and last name using mail merge fields. While we are composing our email, you will see the mail merge fields themselves. However, once the email has been sent out and is read by a recipient, their names or other information will be displayed instead. You can use the Mail Merge Field drop-down menus to insert similar pieces of information throughout the body of your email. First, click on the drop-down menu, select one of the available options, and then click Add. This will then insert the selected Mail Merge Field into the body of your email, wherever your cursor was. If you'd like, you can then copy and paste the Mail Merge Field to anywhere else within the body of your email. Or you can simply type it out manually. Taking a look at our email so far, we have a few mail merge fields for a custom greeting, and you can also see we already have our contact information listed in the body of the email as well. This is our custom signature, which was automatically inserted into our email. You do not need to have a custom signature, however, it can make it easier for you as you won't have to type out your contact information for every email that you send out. To set up a custom email, you can do so through your member profile. Directly below the Templates and Merge Fields section, you will find the Toolbar. 
This toolbar contains all of your different formatting options, including options such as font style, size, or color. You can also use some of the tools available within the toolbar to insert links or images, just like in a standard word processor. Next, you can use the text field below the toolbar to enter the body of your email. If you would like to apply formatting to a specific piece of text, you can highlight it with your cursor, and then click on the tool within the toolbar. When possible, we do not recommend copying and pasting text from other word processors, as this can lead to formatting issues. After composing our message, we also have the option of including any documents or attachments with our email. To do so, click on the Select Files for Upload button, which will open up a new window where you can select the document from your computer. This process may be slightly different depending on your computer's operating system. Once you've selected your file, you will see it listed here underneath step three. If you find you have uploaded the wrong file, you can remove it by clicking here. In step four, you have a couple of different options to select. Let's say you would like to include a list of recipients as an attachment, so everyone who receives the email will be able to see everyone else who received it as well. You can select this option to do so. Note that this will only display the names of the recipients and not their email addresses. Additionally, if you'd like to be included and receive a copy of the email yourself, you can select the copy me on this email option as well. Finally, we can choose when we want our email to be sent out. If you'd like to schedule your email to be sent out at another date or time, select the schedule option. You will then be able to select a date and time for your email to be sent out. However, if you'd like for your email to go out right away, you can select the Send Right Now option. Next, we have the option to save your email as a draft with this Save as Draft button. This will let you save the email and come back to work on it at another time. You can also choose to send a test email to yourself with the Send to Myself button. This way, you can preview it before you send it out to your members. Once you are happy with your email and have set your scheduled date for it to be sent out, simply click on the Send button, and then OK in the confirmation box to send out your email. Congratulations, you've just sent out an email using Clubrunner. Feel free to check out our other video tutorials to continue learning about how to use Clubrunner. Take care.